Well, combinations all stars week. You, you're in camp now. You, you've met your teammates. How's it been so far, day one? No, it's been it's been fantastic. Um, very similar to the team that played England last year. Um, so I know a lot of the lads and built some good relationship with lads um, last year. But yeah, the new faces have been great and. Obviously, we haven't we haven't trained yet together, but um, yeah, it's uh, rugby lads are rugby lads, and I think no matter what team you go to, we're all very similar, and we all just get on. Um, so yeah, I've, I've enjoyed start camp. And it's something a little bit different, obviously, from your week in week out in Super League. Is it is is it nice to take this kind of mid season break and uh, do something a little bit different? Yeah, it's it's refreshing, a little bit of a change of scenery, and um, like say new faces, but. The, the job uh, still stays the same, we still need to go and get the win and I think you know we'll be focusing a lot more on that as, as the week commences so uh, yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to it but to answer your question a little bit of change of scenery and some new faces uh, won't go amiss yeah. You've obviously got that win from last season against England to defend but how are you seeing this week personally, is there anything individually that you're looking to get out of it? Yeah, um, to represent Swaziland um, Obviously, I was born over there, um, really close to my heart, and to represent my mum's, uh, make my mum really proud is is something that I always set out to do, and make, makes makes me uh, really happy. Um, all, all my side of uh, all my side of the family over in England is is English, British, where my dad came from, and my mum ain't got any family over here, so um, you know ev every every. Super League game. I'm sort of, you know, representing my English side of the family with a leaming name, and um, so uh, her side of the family have not got much to shout about. But for me to be wearing that Swazi flag on on my arm this week, um, it'll, it'll be massive for Swaziland and and the people back home and my family back home, and it'll put a massive smile on my mom's face, and and that's always really nice to do. It's a melting pot in that squad of different backgrounds and cultures. One of the great things about the All Stars, have you kind of spoken as a group about? Representing your different cultures and backgrounds and countries, and what that all means to you. Yeah, we did. Uh, we did last year. Um, obviously, we've we've had limited time with each other, so that that conversation hasn't come up yet. But you can feel it as you, as you walk into camp. The um, the atmosphere and and it's not just a normal fixture. You can feel the difference in in atmosphere and people like you say really do want to represent the country and. Um, represent where they come from uh, it's really close to some people's hearts and I think that's what makes the game so so passionate between us and England because like, like I say there's, there's a lot riding on it and, and people want to make the families back home really proud and and um, they are a lot of the uh, the families get chance to watch the game which is which is massive and and yeah like I say the atmosphere changes when you're in camp. Hey, you're going to be working as well with one of the best ever in Ellery Hanley. That must be a, a really exciting call to get and a, an exciting camp to be in. Yeah, when you know when Big Ellery rings you up um, and says, "I want you to play for me," um, you don't say no, dear. Um, it's it's a massive, massive opportunity, and I'm so honoured to be able to to play for him. And the, these games and these fixtures. Um, are so, are so good because you get chance to do stuff like this. Whenever would you, would I get chance to play for Ellie Ranley? Um, you know, so I, I'm I'm really looking forward to it, and hopefully uh, I can put out a really good performance in in honour of him. I'm sure you've been asked this question a lot in the last few days. Are you looking at this opportunity to put performance in front of Sean Wayne and put yourself in the shot window for that World Cup? <laughs> yeah, um, obviously I was disappointed not to get in the England squad, but like I say, it's a chance for me to represent Swaziland and. You know, it's a game that I need to go out and perform, but I've got other reasons as well to play to play well this week. Um, obviously, Sean Wayne's going to be watching, and I will be in the shop window. There's no getting around that, and obviously, I do want to be in that World Cup squad at the end of the year. It's it's something that I've not took my eye off. It's something that I've not, um, you know, I'd rather it happen now than than back end of the year. Um, Sean Wayne spoke to me and told me what I need to work on, and you know that's going to be a massive thing going forward. But it is chance to represent Swaziland, like I say, and that, that's that's the ultimate goal in the, in this week's game is to play well for for Swaziland and for my mom and, and represent represent her um, that don't don't normally get chance to get represented. So yeah, the, the, there is a part of that, but the main focus for me this week is to represent my my country that I was born in. Uh, just lastly, you were obviously involved in this concept last season. 
a lot of it's been about giving England games in preparation for the World Cup, but would you like to see it continue as a mid-season thing? Well, 100%, and I think um, I'd like to see it get bigger and bigger as well, and, and there'd be more of a, um, a hype around this game and almost building it up throughout the year um, and, and, and grow and grow it and grow it. Because I think, you know, the, these steps, it has improved from last year and we just want it to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And it could be it could be a massive fixture that everyone around the world, you don't have to be English to, to come and watch this or to enjoy it. You know, there's so many different countries and backgrounds that are getting celebrated in this game that makes it such a, a special game for everyone that's involved. And, um, you know, like I was saying, my mom can bring her friends along that don't really watch rugby, but they just know I'm representing Swaziland this week and th there's so many different uh, stories that include very similar um, reasons. I, I, I just want to see this game getting bigger and bigger and hopefully it's a massive fixture then in, in, in the years to come. Well, best of luck this weekend. Enjoy it. Thank you very much. Nice. Cheers.